Hello everybody, this is Mike Ockett. I'm going to try to show you something about uh, resonance tuning a banjo using the Mike Ockett howl method. Okay, uh, Howling is something that comes easy to some of us and it turns out to be a good way to resonance tune a banjo. Um, actually there's going to be two parts to this. First we'll resonance tune the head and then we'll resonance tune the air chamber. Um, and the question comes up, why would one want to resonance tune a banjo? Well, um, as I'm sure all banjo players will appreciate, uh, we might want to resonance tune it because it would make it louder. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, but um, it will uh, ideally give a color and a warmth to the tone that uh, it doesn't have if it's not resonance tuned. What is resonance? Resonance is the frequency at which something naturally vibrates. And a lot of things have a resonant, a very distinct resonant frequency. A bell, a glass of water, uh, a musical instrument. The uh, nice thing about a banjo is you can adjust that resonant frequency uh, of the uh, major vibrating part of the banjo, which is the head, by tightening or loosening these um, these nuts and you can do that with a, a wrench a head wrench uh, like this or you can get a socket wrench and get the right size socket on it I like to use a drum head tuner uh, because it allows me to get an exact measurement or pre fairly precise measurement of the torque on each nut and that allows me to get all of them the same uh, this is a drum head tuner uh, uh, that I bought. It's uh, got a spring in it, and when you twist it, uh, it uh, registers the torque. I adapted it to a socket wrench by uh, taking a, a threaded rod, okay, and filing it so that it fits uh, in the, the end of the drum head tuner, and the other end uh, fits into a quarter-inch drive socket. First, we'll see what the resonance tuning of this banjo is, what the resonance frequency of it is, and we'll do that by uh, using one of these uh, handy um, apps that um, you can get, and there's many types of tuners that'll work. Something that has a gauge that will pick up a nearby sound and tell you the frequency. I'm going to howl into this banjo. Howling is something that uh, probably comes a little too easily to me. Um, but um, it's, it's a good way to, to get the resonant frequency. And I'll start with a pitch that I think is close to what it's going to be at. And I'll raise the pitch and uh, we'll see whether uh, we can find a point at which uh, it obviously is resonating with the sound of my voice. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's between an E flat and an E. Not a very good pitch. As I said, we want to find one that's present but not dominant within a key that we typically play. So in this case of this banjo, uh, it probably would sound better if the resonance frequency was either brought up to E or down to E flat. Um, I think I'm probably going to try to uh, take it down to E flat and uh, we'll see how it sounds goal is to lower the tension on the head so that it resonates at uh, an E-flat. And um, it's a little hard to bring a uh, tension down on a head. It's easier to bring it up. And in a typical case, if, if you haven't tightened the head on your banjo for a while, you'll be bringing it up to the pitch that you want. In this case, what I decided to do was back off all the nuts, uh, let the head relax, uh, for a while and then bring it up gradually to uh, to get it to the E flat. It's, it's analogous to tuning a string on an instrument. It's easier to uh, bring it up from a lower pitch than lower it from a higher pitch. So what I'm doing is systematically tightening the nuts with the, uh, the little torque wrench uh, and I'm uh, adjusting them in sequence so that we do it evenly. I'll start with with this nut and then do this one and then do this one, and this one, this one, and this one, and so on, and go around uh, to bring it up 
in a, in a systematic way. It's analogous. It's the same thing, really, as uh, corking the head on an engine, if, if you've done that. And um, so um, I'm setting them all right now to um, uh, 10 kilogram centimeters, which is the units that this, this thing is, are, has. And uh, we'll see where we are. It's pretty close. Uh, it needs to go up a little bit more. So uh, we'll tighten them all systematically a little bit more and try to get it right into that E flat. All right, so uh, I've been adjusting these nuts and uh, going over them uh, several times uh, and uh, trying to get them all even, doing them uh, in a balanced way, back and forth, and uh, remembering to uh, retune the strings each time you finish uh, uh, going through the, the uh, tension uh, nuts. Uh, you want to retune the strings and make sure it's at standard pitch because that will affect the uh, tension on the head as well. And when I do the howl uh, technique, I'll damp the strings I uh, just want to hear the, the frequency of the head. Um, and I've got all these uh, nuts at about 7 kilogram centimeters. And it seems to get us pretty close to a, an E flat. And we'll take a look here. Seems to be happy at an E flat. Let's hear how it sounds. Yeah, the notes just kind of hop off the strings, and that's the way it should be. Resonance tuning. <laughs>